Barbara Connor and her husband Gregory got in line at 8 o'clock this morning. They weren't first. Several people had been waiting in line at the office of Doctors McIntyre and Whiting in Bridgewater since late last night for free dental work. Both of the Connors needed some work done on their teeth. Filling and also extraction and hopefully at some point I would like to have a partial put on my bottom two incisors. I have one tooth that I was told by a dental clinic that I go to needed to be filled. Usually the Connors go to a clinic that claims to be free. When charges started appearing, Barbara wondered why. What they say is that the government, you know, that provides this service, um, you know, provides paperwork to help them do what they do, requires that they charge a fee. And I'm like, well, what would happen if people didn't have money? With Gregory only working a temporary job and not having insurance, the Connors say they're managing, but barely. Barbara requires a lot of work done to her teeth. Her situation requires her to ask many dentists an important question. What do you do for people that, you know, we live hand to mouth. You know, we, don't, we don't have that kind of money. It's really hard. When they heard about the free event, the Connors knew it was something they had to do. Gregory feels the work he had done will give him the confidence he needs during his job search. It's a great opportunity for myself since my situation, looking for work and having a little time to get this work done because it was definitely needed. The event today only focused on cleanings, fillings, and extractions, leaving the Connors wondering how they'll get some of the more intensive work done. They were happy just being able to take a first step, something many don't have the opportunity to do. I see a lot of people, it's not just me, I see a lot of people who just ignore their mouth. And it's just really sad because when I saw a dentist in Connecticut, he was like, if you don't take care of your mouth, you can die. In Bridgewater, Dave Beiknish, WHSV News 3.